Okay, so this is the last of the three-part series I'm doing on discovering new Vietnamese music. Um, this is ngot 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 tai ju tai ju tai ju tai ju. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna listen to it. I'm just gonna listen to it. Apparently, it's just like a regular pop song. Um, so far, out of the last two that I've heard, the jazz song has been my favorite, but the rap song has not been bad at all. So, yeah, let's give this a go. More like poppy, poppy style. Pop rock. It's a band. It's a band, eh? Boy singing in the back, man. So sad. She's sad for him, bro. All right, I'm putting this in last place. It's not that it's bad. It's just that I didn't like it as much as the other two. I give it a solid 7.8. It seemed like a bit underproduced, like mix, like the mastering was a little bit underwhelming. It didn't sound too, uh, sound too great, like uh, first time. Um, for sure though, I'm giving the jazz 
a number uno. And uh numero uno. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving a numero uno for the jazz music. I think that was just pure class. I think it was so classy and sounded so great. Um, I think it's a song you could listen to on multiple occasions and never get tired of it because it's a six minute song and it has a lot to offer in, the, in those six minutes. Um, and it's very interesting, like dynamically. Uh, the rap song was just fun. And this song is not too bad. It's very emotional, but it did feel like a bit jumbled together in a way. Uh, like the production wasn't as high value as the jazz song, but yeah, definitely still a good song. But thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys get more interested in like music from different cultures and stuff like that. Um, seeing as how K-pop has gotten so popular now. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, yeah, see you guys on the other side. Peace out, peace out.